Uh, then Separated, uh, Errol Morris uh, is the filmmaker behind The Thin Blue Line, Gates of Heaven, The Fog of War, and and, and many others. Uh, he has a new film about the tra uh, Trump administration's uh, use of family separation as a deterrent at uh, the U.S.-Mexican border uh, in uh, 2018. I don't have the exact dates from when it was happening. It wasn't a long time while uh, they were actually doing to it. 17. But it, uh, yeah, but it, now I think something about it was like, I thought it was 2018, but I, I, maybe it's 20. Yeah, no, I think no, it's no, 2017. It, it, was, it, it got, was the moment that Trump got in uh, in office. So 2016, 17, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just a couple of months as well. And then like it's about like uh, how d d they were opposing forces within the, the system as well, without the government. And then notably yeah. one guy who was also a big part of uh, the documentary that gets to kind of state how uh, he was also later on in charge to reunite families and how they did that. Yeah. So it's like a very uh, central person that you can interview for basically all of it. And then it gets a bunch of other interviewees uh, to uh, round out the rest of it. But it's essentially like one guy that he interview. And I, I honestly, the, the guy is like very well put together and can say sentences incredibly well, super articulate. The issue is, uh, there's also an editing issue. The way that he talks, he does like this with every sentence. And, he, and um, Morris also cuts the film in a way that it's like, it's got these like, this is super technical, but these L cuts that basically lead. So it's like showing the guy interviewing and he stays static and he continues talking in another clip, but it's for a second stays on him until it cuts to something else, either him in the interview or like another footage that they captured. And I got so frustrated with this type of editing and it was in the entire movie um, that it- I believe it, you called it dead air. It's a lot, lot of, of it's air. a lot of dead air in this movie that you could solidly like. Uh, this is definitely an ex uh, uh, like an exaggeration, but I think you could cut out like ten to fifteen minutes of this film, not just like the dead air, but also that. other things. Kev, you you watch this one too? I think the the ultimate like core of it all is that this uh, thing that they did with separating families under the constitution or whatever rules they are in place, they could easily do it like this again. And that's a scary part, and that's like what it tries to also hone in uh, towards the uh, hone in on uh, towards the end there. I just found the rest of it, uh, all of the subject things like being put together to tell the story, uh, a, a bit lackluster. When obviously the subject matter is is super interesting to me, it was also again another thing where like I knew quite a bit about it already. Uh, and I think for people who don't, uh, this just adds a lot of context and is super interesting. I don't know about you, Kevin. How, how do you feel about it? You, you were obviously uh, frustrated about the editing. Uh, for me, I found the email part. There were a lot of emails that were being written. Uh, yeah. And, so and, and you, know, you know, you know, so someone is explaining, oh, yeah, I got this guy. I sent an email to her. And then you see, like, on the screen, basically an Outlook email. You see uh, someone who, with the sender, you got uh, someone who is uh, sending the message to, and then you also got the CC people, and then he's writing out the, uh, the, the email or the message that is being sent at that time, referring to a certain topic or uh, situation. And they do that a lot of the times, and I was just wasn't invested in that type of storytelling. Like you said, a lot of dead air, but for me, also the timing of this documentary, I know it is being released in a year, in an election year, as I should say, mm -hmm. but it's referring a lot to 2016, 2017. And if it should come out at any uh, election year, it was actually the last one because, you know, it, well, it, it, mm -hmm. doesn't, it, it doesn't talk about any new things that happened since 2016, 17. Yeah. That, that, that had me wondering, like, why release it now? Like, I know, I know the message is this can happen again. I, I I get it, but the documentary itself is really stuck in time. Which... I, I think I think Trump has made a different point now that he's moved past uh just like using this as, as a deterrent uh to to separate families. He's gone so much far beyond basically with with like migrant crime and all of that shit that he's yeah. been pulling off like like on the debate that they had the other day of like them eating pets and dogs that's already been used so oh, much yeah. on social media uh yeah. i i watched the debate and i found it so incredibly frustrating it was really fr refreshing to see someone like harris finally someone could just say this guy is fucking ridiculous and do it effectively i i really hope he doesn't get elected again it, it doesn't really go just with him though it's just like any 
So because like the, yeah, yeah. the Biden it, it administration didn't really stop with it like that much as well as much as they could have, right? It's yeah. not like they are not complicit in all of this. And I think under Obama there was also another thing like uh, the border is always a contentious subject. Um, I think this comes out in because the border is always an ongoing issue. This just shows the blatant uh, miscarriage of power and abuse of power and uh, disregard of of human like it's basically a war crime. Yeah. Uh, and um to see that happen and it being like it, it, it is crazy that something like this is as big as it is gets kind of solved obviously repercussions and harm and trauma is forever yeah. you you don't shake that uh but just it, it, we are moving past this so so fast as a, as a collective and i, I think yeah. that that makes the it doesn't unfortunately the doc doesn't focus on that i think that would be a bit more interesting like like trump getting almost shot right getting clipped and like a week later, that's not that's not that big a thing anymore. Like the way that news and and trauma and like these these crazy things happen as fast in the news cycle. I think that that would be an interesting thing on its own. This I, I guess it is a time capsule going back to twenty seventeen as well, yeah. like you say. But I found it was uh, subject matter wise interesting. But I gave it a five out of ten as far as like a documentary. Uh, I gave it a six. Just I, I found it intriguing, but just didn't do much for me in the end.